Hi friends, welcome to day 10 of Advent. Day 10 is another question from y'all, so let's get to it. Today's question comes from Miguel Rafael Quito, and it is, do you have any outlining methods that you prefer? Well, let's discuss. I own Save the Cat Writes a Novel. Have I ever opened it? No. No, I have not. Uh, I own a lot of craft books that I've never opened because I am a horrible human. Cool. Uh, the one that I have read recently and that I am enjoying and that I have used to outline my current work in progress is by K.M. Wayland and so she has both outlining and one on plotting. Yeah, one on outlining, one on plotting. She has two. But the cool thing is if you are a Scrivener user, which I'm using Scrivener for this project and in the future, I know I've talked about it, I am working on it, there is a video coming of like me discussing different programs and platforms and things that I use and my methods. I promise it's coming. I've been working on it. It's a lot of work. It's taking me longer than I had expected, but it is coming. But if you like to use Scrivener, on K.M. Whalen's website, she has a Scrivener template that goes through her plotting process, her outlining methods. So you can go through and each little section, like if you have like 1A, 1B, the inciting incident, etc, etc. And she has like a card for each place and she kind of describes what should be going in that part of your outline. And so that is what I've been using for this time around and it is very helpful. I am enjoying it. I am not as in-depth in the outlining process as some other people like Miss Laura Rice, but I am really happy with this method so far and I think that it's definitely helping my outlining process and so that's what I'm using currently. Previously, what I have I done for outlining? I've literally just wrote down things that I thought should happen, <laughs> which is probably why I haven't finished the book yet. Probably. I know it's a very short, possibly not helpful answer, but that's really the only answer that I have for right now. Let me know in the comments below what you guys do for outlining. If you have a specific method that you use or if there's something that you prefer, maybe give Miguel some ideas of what he could use. Time for day 10's creator spotlight. Let's see who we get today. Day 10 is Eve Daniels aka The Nerdy Nanny. Eve's channel is primarily writing, so author tube, but she also is very big on informative type videos. She's very intelligent. She's a college educated woman. She's in college now learning more things. She's very smart and I feel like a moron sometimes when I watch her videos, but I like that because I like to learn things. So she has informative videos. She's been releasing some things about um, COVID and about uh, the vaccine and how people are doing things in Sweden, which is I believe is where she's at right now. I am the worst person ever. I believe she's currently in Sweden, but just different videos about like what's going on. Um, she's very educated in that aspect. So if you like informative things and you like learning things about what's going on in the world, highly recommend. She also does a series with Cache from Cache with the Hobbies, I believe is Cache's channel now. And they do a series called The Business of Books. And so they discuss um, the business of books and <laughs> essentially book business and like marketing and all those fun things. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely check Eve out. She publishes children's books. So check her out. Highly recommend. That's it for me today, guys. If you don't want to miss any more of the Advent videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Maybe hit the bell button if you're feeling extra froggy. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>